Good day. Welcome to Martinez 3D. In this uh, particular design, we are going to do a simple box. If uh, what is it called? Like a cutter. So let's start. Great. Go to polygon primitive. As well, we do them. Click on. So select. Just no matter the size. All you just need is to, okay. We've done this. So the next thing you do is to create again polygon that you create plain. So that is the surface that it, it will it will land it on. So as you have done this, you can scale this one up to cover up the space. Good. So as you've done this one, what you need to do now is that you change the material for the ground floor select so click on object then on the object say assign new material click on new material and say blind on the blind on the attribute just change the to something like green and reduce the Okay, let's reduce it in that manner. Good. So as you've done with that, let that be. So you select this. This is what we want to work on. So click on this and say select the surface. Select and delete the surface point. So since we only need the expression of of a outside layer, select the surface. I mean, object, raise this up a bit because I'm looking at inside and finding that I'm seeing that green side in it, which is supposed to be good. So, as you're done with this now, select this and say edges, select edges. You right click to bring God to bring this dialog out. So, at your right click, just click select the edge at the edge, click on the edge. If you pick it up like this, it's going to go on with everything. So don't do that. So what you do, control set to go back to the original position. Then edit mesh. On edit mesh, just click on a uh, extrude. At the extrude, you now take it up. So you detach it, then spread it outside. So that's one. The next one, you do the same thing here again. Edit mesh. Extrude, take it upward. Are you getting it? Take it upward, then go back and spread it outside. Good. So you do the same thing at the at the remaining ones again. Select this edit mesh. Extrude, take it up, spread it out. Do the same thing as well. Right click and say object. From here, you see edges, edit mesh, extrude, put it up, spread it outside. So here, you have created the, the boxes. Can continue to work on them by selecting only the surface, I mean edges, then you clicking on the uh, so you can be taking them around, play with the surface and every other thing, the edges, and so on and so forth. So, for here now, I've done this. Now I need to assign color to this particular. Objects, click and say select objects. So at this point, what I need is that there are two ways to set that this assign color. So let us use a proper method. So go to window and the window look for rendering editor. At the render editor, just click on upper shade and click on upper shade. Let it do from upper shade. You are seeing an element that you want to use. So I want to draw on Maya 
Okay, let's see Maya surface. Just want to use Maya again. So I want to use Lambert. And the Lambert which I create, this is the Lambert I have picked. So I want to use the property here and change whatsoever I want to change. So at this point now, I have a lot of uh, linear property that I've already put in place. I don't think this is Lambert, sorry. So here is the Lambert which I've created. So we select this Lambert and we change the color. So from here we start with this. So you want something like okay. I think this is okay. You can reduce the, the color brilliancy. So since is that what you have done? So now how do we apply it to what we have done here? It shouldn't be something of a uh, confused. Just say this is done. Can you see? So since it's what you have done, the Lambert is there already. So that is what you have created in this place. Now you see that some parts are dark. Close this dialog attribute. Close it up. You see the parts are dark. And the trick upon it is that it's not the Maya that have the issue. Actually, it might be the setting of which you do. So if you bring your your light by creating light in this place, it can give you something meaningful. But here is not what we want to do it. So how do you do that? So click on lighting and click on two side light. Can you see? So you have it both inside and outside uh, more clearer and more. So you can do the same thing by saying off it. So when you click it off, you look in it, look at inside, it's so dark. Because of what you're using single side light. So when you click on two side light, you'll be able to see inside of what you have done. So that is it for that. This is how to create simple cartoon in Revit. So that is it. Um, subscribe to our channel. Keep watching as we do.